Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Caleb, um, CG Motorsports. Uh, today, we're going to do something a little different. Um, yeah, I got violin how to videos and stuff for my students, and I got car do it yourself videos and stuff. Well, today, we're going to clean a viola. We're going to clean the oxidation off of it. So, I have this viola here, and you see all the oxidation on the uh, finish. I should say we're going to attempt to clean it because sometimes varnish is the kind oil based I think it doesn't it's a little harder to clean um, so I'm going to test the spot on here and if it turns out good then we will do a full cleaning so I'm just going to pick some little tiny spot let's see how about like right not right there. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this varnish is it's a little cracking, but I mean, underneath the underneath the oxidation, the varnish is cracked, but that doesn't mean you can't clean it. You can see, see that? I should do a before and after picture, huh? That might be a good idea. So I'll get that little bit more, that little corner area, and then we'll I'll show you on the screen there. And after this, at the end of this video, I'll kind of reveal what I'm using to clean it. I tell people what I use and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, it works. Yeah, this is going to look nice. Rub it away. There we go. Wow, shiny. Boom. What do you think of that? So I'm probably going to end up taking everything off so I can get under everything and then uh, yeah there is a lot of oxidation on this. Cool so I'm going to time lapse the rest of this because it's probably going to take a while maybe 30 minutes, hour almost up to an hour probably. So. You're not going to hear me talk because it's going to shoot a frame every uh, every second or so. It's going to shoot a frame. So this is going to be like a five-minute video, hopefully. All right. So here we go. Okie doke, so we're done. Uh, it took about an hour and a half actually, more than I thought. And that's because once I loosened the strings, the sound post just fell over. So I had to put the sound post back up. But um, here it is, and it's all clean. You can look closely at it and see almost all of that 
gunk is gone. And I cleaned the bridge too. I basically just cleaned the bridge by scuffing it. Because that rosin buildup is just basically goo after a while. So there it is. It's all set. And I'm bringing it back to the owner tonight. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and uh, subscribe and share this with anybody you you might think would benefit. Um, oh yeah, the stuff I used to clean it. Get ready for a surprise. Now this is a certain kind, but yeah, you're read, you're reading it right. It's uh, Carnuba Wax, Deep Crystal. So this is going to be, it's kind of a yellowy color, and uh, it's really, really soft. And it's the very last step when you're detailing the car. It's not polish. It's not rubbing compound. It's not even clear coat paint cleaner. It's not any of those things. It's just a coating. The final coating you would put on your car to, like, protect it from UV rays and stuff like that. So it's it's for anything delicate really. I mean I you can use this on I use it on glass. I use it on uh, anything that can handle wax. In other words something that it wouldn't bleed through. Some varnishes I, it, this goes through the varnish and stick, stick, sticks onto the wood and you'll see white even though you've already wiped it away you'll see it underneath and that's why I test the spot first but you can see it worked great on this one don't forget to like subscribe and share see you next video